today. We're going to build the Audi R8. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do to assemble our car is put on the wheels. Now, what you need to do is know how the wheels look. Now, if you have a nice flat uh, side on the bottom, this is your front wheel. If you have more of a like a cog on the uh, on the rear wheel, this is your rear wheel, and that's going to attach directly into the motor. Okay, so first thing we're going to do to assemble the car is attach the rear motors and the rear wheels. First, we want to take off the nut that's on the axle. It's got two washers. You're only going to need one. Now, for this side, we get the left motor. How do we know which side the left motor goes on? If you look closely on the plastic, you're going to see the letter L over here and the letter R. We're going to go ahead and use the left motor on the side that says the letter L. We're going to tuck this wire into the hole, and then we're also going to put the motor right through the rear uh, drive shaft. Now our motor is installed. Get the cog over here for the rear wheel. We slide that right in, and that's going to connect directly into the left motor. From there, it's okay if we have a little bit of a, a slag right now. I'm going to put one washer. I'm going to make sure the flat side connects to the tire. I want to attach the nut. I want to loosely put it on. Why? So when we come to the other side, we can go ahead and pull the rear drive shaft and have room for the other wheel. We'll loosen up this, these items over here. I'm going to attach the right motor. We have R on the plastic, R on the motor. We're good to go. I'm going to tuck that cable right in. And I'm going to slide it right there. From there, I'm going to go ahead and attach the other rear wheel. Connect that. Now I have enough room to go ahead and put one washer and one nut. And after we do that, we get the two included wrenches. One and two. We go to both sides and we tighten both nuts. So after we went ahead and installed the rear wheels, we want to install our caps. All it is is three tabs, and they fit into three holes. Just line it right up, and push right in. There you go. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the front wheel. First, we want to take off all the components that may already be on the axle, such as the nut. We call this the gray piece, and two washers. You're going to want the both washers this time. First, we go ahead and put on one washer. We make sure the flat side is gonna to face towards the wheel. After that, we're gonna we're gonna also install the gray piece. Just slide that right in. And we wanna make sure that the area that's uh, empty over here faces uh, the wheel. Third, we're gonna install the front wheel. We want that gray piece to fit in right over there. So when we slide that in, we make sure it fits like so. Next. We attach another washer, flat side, we'll touch the, uh, the wheel, followed by the nut. First, we're set in by hand, tinning it up. And last but not least, we want to install the cap. Find our tabs, and we push it right in. Next, we're gonna install the caps for our mortars. Now, we see four holes here, one, two, three, four. The smaller side and the big side. The small side is where these cables are gonna come from. So we're gonna go ahead and place this over these four tabs as well, like so. After that's placed in, uh, in place, we're gonna go ahead and look for the eight included screws. We're gonna apply it with four to each cover. So four on this side and four on that side. Nice. 
next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna wire up this car. Now, since you brought in the right and left motors, you do have this motor connector over here and over here. Now, from this controller board over here, this RC motor board, you have, also have two empty ones, one and two. Now you're wondering, oh, which one connects to the right one, which connects to the left one? Doesn't matter, because they both come from the same port and it's, not, and it's sending the same instructions to both motors. So we go ahead and we plug one on over here. And we go ahead, we plug the second one in over here. Got it upside down. Yep, that's the right way. So now once these are connected, one and two, there's only one last piece you have to do over here. You have this wire over here and it's connected to a fuse. From the fuse, you're gonna connect, connect to the red positive terminal of the battery. You find the terminal and you slide it right into the tab. Once it's in, that's all you need in order to test out the car and power it on. You can even see that the car is uh, functioning properly by hitting the accelerator on the motor. Make sure to raise the rear when you do that. Next, we're going to install the steering wheel. To do so, you want to find the steering wheel bolt and nut, which you could actually find right in your steering wheel. I went ahead and already removed mine. Now look at the pull that the steering wheel is supposed to attach to. You want to make sure that you line it up with the hole inside the end. Once you see light going through, you may have to pull out a little bit. You're good to go. Now one side has a hex pattern and one side has a round pattern. I'm assuming the nut pattern is on this side. Plate, go ahead and place your nut over there. Why? Because the hexagon part will actually hold it in place. And then you just screw in the bolt in the round side. So you just have to a little bit. Okay, so now with the windshield, we have a few tabs over here, all the way across, and we have tabs right over here. What you're going to want to do is line up the windshield with the tabs, and then you push to snap it right in. You want to watch both sides. In, and they snap right in place. Here, the same thing. Press in, and they snap right in place. Take the rubber and all the seat. Now pay attention, you got a few tabs right back here. You're going to go right, fit right into here. One and two. Make sure the seatbelt's nice and tight so what's called none of it gets trapped. After that, you're gonna have two holes that line up. You're gonna get these two black screws, and you're just gonna put them right in here. Last, we're gonna go ahead and connect this controller to the car. As you can see, when I car out of the car, it doesn't work at all. So let's go ahead and power it down. But what we want to do is, we want to hold the sync button down on the controller. Keep holding it down and until everything starts flashing. Once it starts doing that, you hit the power button. It's going to turn solid. And then you can hit the up arrow. And the power will go. Well, the, that's all for the assembly. If you have any questions, please visit us on ridefirstdrive.com where we have the manual and other support. Thank you for watching. Thank you.